Hello friends, welcome to today's video. In this video, we gonna take a look at one of the uh, one of the nice uh, add-on released to the virtual railroads or called uh, DB VR One Twenty. Virtual railroads is a company who makes nice uh, nice authentic add-ons for train simulators like uh, authentic locomotives, expert line locomotives, uh, wagons, coaches, etc., etc. So this video is uh, intent, uh, intended for advanced people. So if you are uh, if you are uh, if you are a novice, then uh, I think uh, you should uh, skip this video. So it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, literally quite advanced, guys. Quite advanced locomotives. So let's uh, just uh, dive into it. So we have got the BR120 and uh, some 3D Zug. 3D Zug Interregio coaches. So doors are closed. So let's dive into cab. First thing you wanna do is uh, turn on the lights. The shortcut is the L key. I don't know why that light is not turning up. So anyways, first what you have to do is press Shift to B. Let me turn the battery. Now if you press the light, light would come on. So next uh, next thing is we want to uh, release the handbrake which has been applied on the locomotive. So click this uh, couple icon, I mean the wrench icon. So scroll through to the locomotive. You see here brake like disc. Click that and the handbrake will be released. So next thing you would hold on a second guys and let me bring up the manual I'm not uh, I'm, I'm not yet the master of this uh, locomotive hold on a second guys it's a it's a very it's very very detailed uh, it goes well with any any of the German content you have I mean German German uh, coaches. So after we have done done that, we have to main pressure. Yeah, the main pressure is here, guys. Brake pressure. Uh, that needs to be should show on ten. Ten. The red needle should point ten. If not, use a shift plus semicolon. Shift plus semicolon. It should show, but it's not showing. The other alternative here is prime the compressor here. That is the loop pressure in. That is the compressor. Switch on the compressor and wait for a few seconds to that needle should reach to 10. Wait for a few seconds. It's going out. It's a, it's a little bit complicated, guys. Little bit complicated, but not too majorly complicated. Since uh, T is going 64 bit, we can expect a lot more complicated trains. So, yes. no. so it would take a minute or two, guys, depending upon the, uh, I mean, the movement of the needle. It should show up now. After it shows then the compression the compressor should stop. Next what you have to do is release the brake to 4.7%. 4.7% and then press the needle needle should show then wait for a few seconds. Next step the reverser into M. I mean press W once. 
it will go to carbon magnesium if you look closely here if you look closely we are on M then we have to select a pentograph for this uh, the shortcut is shift P shift P that means the pentograph number 1 selected message should come we want pentograph number 2 so again shift P number 2 is selected then we have to raise the pentograph by this button the lever so raise the pentograph the kilowatt should go up yeah now all we have to do is switch on the main battery which is the Z key Z or Z key press once press again this should be switched on so now everything is in place next if you want to if you are a real purist if you want a PZB C4 and the LZP systems there are uh, respectively shortcuts for that shift 6, shift 7, shift 8 all that uh, all that uh, are the shortcuts for SIFA and everything so since we are don't we are not in 10 delete the brakes fully I hope I hope this one is down I don't know why it's not getting now press reverse to forward we are putting uh, two more guys I don't know why it's not uh, showing up. Maybe again. Find the. Uh, it's moving. I don't know if it's moving or not, guys. So let me break. Four bar. Release the brakes. Yeah. You have to. You have to apply the brake once and release it. So that is a uh, down to 10, 10 bar. Yeah, that's it. Get. That's it. We are ready to departure, but uh, before that, I want to switch on the AFP. The shortcut is Shift A. You will get the message AFP English shortcut, whatever that means. So uh, the speed limit is 120. I'm uh, just gonna set it to 90 because I know the speed limit will drop down to 90 in a few so 80, 90 so we are pretty much ready for departure just accelerate horn horn two times here is the horn so let's depart finally we are moving the so this is how you drive the BR120 from virtual railroad. They also have a 101, 103, all that stuff. Check the check their website out. I'll put the link in the description as well. So hope you guys can hear me because of the sound of the game. I think uh, so. So these are the coaches, intercity coaches, interregio down bundle from really Zug who also make nice add-ons like Orient Express and Crane all that stuff I'll put the as usual I'll put the links in the description so we are moving guys give it a bit more power so yeah that's how you drive the okay guys and again this is the Colin Copeland's road route is the Colin Coblenz uh, really released by Rautel Games uh, for Train Simulator uh, way back I guess I think it's wa it was a Train Simulator 2016 very nice route check this route also out uh, if you like this route uh, you can buy it on Steam sale so anyways speed limit is 90 coming up I hope I hope AFP keeps our speed limit under control let's see guys unfortunately there are no passenger view in this, uh, in this uh, uh, carriage carriage is by 3D gun it's unusual anyways so that's 
so guys that's it guys that's how you drive the br120 so if you guys like this video hit that thumbs up button if you don't you know where the dislike button is and also please 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 if you like my work if you like my videos just uh, hit that subscribe button doesn't cost too much and uh, also also please 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 comment on my videos about my voice and all that stuff and i'm eager to i'm eager to know what you guys think about it anyways uh, see you all in the next video cheers bye stay happy see you guys see you all in the next video